This video is sponsored by Wingfox. Wingfox is an online platform that provides various art courses such as CG, game art, animation, and many more. Right now, Wingfox is offering a cyberpunk art and drawing course on Photoshop. The teacher, Park Jun Q, is a concept artist who has worked in various big title games such as League of Legends, Cyberpunk 2077, and many more. And now, he is sharing his expertise and experience to jumpstart your growth as a digital artist. If you're someone who wants to learn how to draw fast and nice pictures in a short time, or interested in cyberpunk art, this course is just for you. This course is suitable for beginners who wants to try Photoshop painting as it covers some of the very basic theories for drawing. In only 11 hours, you will learn how to draw the human human body, mechanical design, weapon design, gun design, and layout. Use my coupon code for a 15% discount. Click the link in the description below to sign up. Art Senpai Senpai! Art Senpai this. Firstly, I would like to say thank you for all the submissions. There are so many of them. Way more than the number of anime body pillows I own. Unfortunately, it's impossible for me to review all of them. Or else this series will end up like one piece. Today's art review will be slightly different from the previous videos. Instead of redrawing them and showing you who has the end result, I'll be showing you my redrawing process and provide some comments at the same time, because I think you can learn more this way. Alright, let's start reviewing. First we have a simple mugshot from Aya Buddha. The greyish color you chose for the skin is pretty good, it's very eye pleasing, but there's a problem with the hair's color choice. Avoid choosing colors that are at the edge of the color wheel like this. In fact, this orange color you're using for the base is good enough. It's just that the shading screwed everything up. I know that feeling. You finish your line art, you feel pretty good about your drawing, you think it's 10 out of 10, but after coloring, you gotta pour holy water on the drawing and burn it on the snake cause this abomination might just summon the devil himself. <sighs> I perfectly understand that feeling. Now let's talk about the line art. Avoid using grayish tones for the lines. Use bright and reddish color instead. The hair's pretty well drawn, not gonna lie. Oh, don't forget the ahoge. For the face, try to make it rounder. It looks more kawaii this way. You don't want your waifu's face to look like a pentagon. As for the side hair, it's better to draw the full length, straight down to the boobs. Also, the hair looks a little bit unnatural too. You don't just draw the outline of the hair and leave it there. It looks like a lump of meat. Make sure you draw the details like the hair strands so that your hair will look more defined. Besides, you can cut some holes between the hair so that it looks more breathable. Here's a tip, if one side of the hair touches the shoulder, you shouldn't do the same for the other side. Instead, you can draw like this. Also, the neck is a bit too thin. The clothes? Oh my god. Why do you like highly saturated colors so much? Look, it's best to choose colors around this area. Also, if your background is blue, you should pick another color other than blue. Otherwise, just leave the background white. Let me clear the blue background a bit. Hmm. The green is bothering me. And white high. Ribbon is much more kawaii. Now, let me just shade the ribbon and the clothes. The last step is to draw the strip and the clothes is done. Now let's move to the skin. I've roughly shaded the shadow underneath the neck and the jaw. Wait a minute, where's the eyebrow? Eyebrow is the heart of a woman. Look at Amelia Clark. The left eye looks a little bit weird. Let me fix it. Let's make the cheeks red too. As for the hair, the first step is to shade the light shadow of the hair, then the dark shadow. The next step is to apply some highlight on the bangs, and add some interesting reflex light on the back of the hair. For this picture, I'll be using purple. Lastly, I'll add some highlight to the top of the hair, and the hair is finished. This is before and after. What do you think? Alright, let's move to the next one. Okay, here we have a drawing from Zenzei. Firstly, the pose is too straight. Straighter than my uncooked spaghetti. A good pose always has a S line of action. So, the first thing I'm going to do is to fix your stiff pose. Well, the pose for this character is an easy one. It's a bishoujo casually holding a cap. Let me redraw the head. It should be facing the left instead of the front. And for the body, please, for the love of God, stop drawing a straight body like this. 
here's the technique I always use. If your face is facing the left, then you should make the body face the opposite direction, which in this case is the right. It will look much better. Then, draw the shoulders, the hands, the cap, yada yada. Do you see that? That's the S line of action. The character looks more alive this way. Also, where's the boobies? Could it be... Okay, I get it. You like flat boards. Not gonna question your preference. But for me, I like my characters boing boing. Honestly speaking, if it's not for the shading, I'll actually give this illustration a solid pass. You definitely need to work on your shading and details. Okay, as usual, I'm going to shade the part that's on the opposite side of the light source, such as the neck, clavicle, hands, etc. Also, don't forget the red cheeks. I noticed you drew them red, so well done, but not red enough in my opinion. Lastly, add some shading on the thighs. Mm-hmm. And the skin is roughly done. Moving on, the hair. As usual, I'm going to shade the light shadow of the hair, then the dark shadow. Keep in mind that there's a large shadow here because the cap is blocking the sunlight. The way you draw the wrinkles is a big no. What are those? Coke spaghetti? When you're shading, visualize the shadows as a block. Don't be afraid to put large shadows over your character. Does the character look more 3D now? Add some dark or hard shadows onto the clothes to represent the wrinkles. I just simply add some. Hmm, I think it's fine for now. Drawing wrinkles isn't as simple as drawing lines like what you did right here. Find a reference if you can't visualize them. For the eyes, I would suggest you to use other colors. For me, I prefer my eyes to have a strong contrast, so um, red is good, but hmm. Purple is better, I think. Okay, purple then. Now let's add some shading. Highlights, contrasting colors, a 
Is it better? I don't know. Whatever. Let's move to the most exciting part. Lighting. Let me darken the character first. And then the highlight. You don't have to be super precise and accurate when it comes to lighting. It's more of a directional thing. You just need to know the general direction of the light rays. Lastly, I'm going to add some blue reflex light on the hair. And add a little bit details like hair strands and highlights on the eyes. Yeah, can't say this. What do you think? Alright, let's move to the last one. The last one we have a Kamisama illustration from X Yo Boy. Overall, I think it's pretty well drawn. I guess the character is a holy being, cause there's a halo. But I think there's a better way to portray this holy aura. So let me just erase this. I notice y'all have problems with coloring the hair. The shadow and the lighting of the hair is not good. Go watch my hair coloring tutorial video if you guys haven't watched it. As I said in the two previous examples, stop drawing the hair like it's a lump of meat. Draw some hair strands to make it look more natural. Don't forget the ahoge. Let's add some shadows. As I've demonstrated earlier, first the light shadow, then the heart shadow. After that, add the highlights on the hair. For this, I'll be using blue, and the hair is roughly done. I'll come back to it later. Again, it's pretty well drawn, not gonna lie, but I prefer the mouth to be small and cute. What do you want to put in that big mouth? A tofish plus TV? I just want to clarify something real quick. Um, this is just my personal drawing style. I think it's better to draw it this way, that's all. I noticed the face is a bit weird. Y you know what? Let's just redraw the face. Sorry, my son. For the cheeks, I think you should make it sharper, so the face will look less chubby. For the eyes, they should be around here. By the way, the eyebrows are a bit too high as well. Now, do you feel the foxy vibe from this picture? She looks like someone who might seduce and kidnap you just so she can eat your organs and grow a new pair of tentacles. For me, I tend to draw the eyes bigger compared to this. I'll roughly color the eyes and put some highlights. Onto the face. As usual, the shading on the double eyelid, hair, red cheeks, yada yada. You guys should know the drill by now already. I don't want to bore you guys with the same stuff. For the clothes, again, the shading. But first, let me cover the shading. Then, I'm going to draw the line art of the clothes. Since the arm is pulling the clothes, you can draw the wrinkles like this. You can draw a triangle here to show that this part is dented inwards. Keep in mind that the position of your shoulder and the hand should be like this. There are compressed wrinkles right here and you must draw them. For the buttons, allow me to show you my cultured way. <laughs> now that's a cultured illustration. Let's draw the bra too. The color I'll be picking is good old black. Decrease the opacity and apply some blur. Ta-da! Phew! That was exciting. <laughs> <clears throat> Back to the clothes. I just roughly shaded this part here because it's on the opposite side of the light source. For the jacket, again, the shading. And I'm going to use your purple base color to cover this awkward part. The lighting is poorly executed. Don't simply use the spray tool or smudge tool if you don't know how to use it properly. Don't be afraid to draw these wrinkles to show the pulling effect. Also, since the elbow is leaning inwards, there are compressed wrinkles at the arm, and you must draw them. I noticed that the shoulders are kinda wide, you're not drawing a Jojo character, so keep them narrow and small. For the yellow button, I find the yellow too bright. Kohais, stop choosing colors with high saturation for everything, one guy. 
So, I'm assuming you wanted the character to have backlight, but I have a better idea on how to portray this effect. But before I show you, I still can't get over the face. Why does it look so weird to me? Ah, Naruodo. The ear's the problem, it's too high. Phew, told me it was one hour to notice this. I'm such a failure. Pinpeko, sorry, Masen. Okay, let's do some magic. First, I'm going to darken the character by using Blend Mode Multiply. Then, I'm going to add some lighting by using Blend Mode Overlay. Next, I'm going to add some interesting highly saturated colors at the Terminator, which is the boundary between light and shadow. Write it down to your notebook, it's called Terminator. Alright, time to draw and color the halo. Let's make a rainbow colored halo because why not? Lastly, add some highlights, details, hash rings, and it's done. This is before and after. I hope you guys can learn a lot from it. So, how was it, guys? Do you like this new style of art review? Or perhaps you prefer me to show a longer fixing time, something closer to real time? Comment down below and let me hear your honest opinion. I want to deliver the best learning experience to you, guys. Improving your art is not as simple as finding a better technique. It's also important to understand a professional illustrator's train of thoughts so that you can apply the train of thoughts into your drawing. I hope you guys learn a lot from this newer approach of art review. Alright, until then, please drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter. DM me if you want a commission from me. Alright, that's all from me. Jana, guys.